Hey everybody, Lori Ballin here with Ballin Vegas, Lori Ballin team in Las Vegas Henderson and with Ballin Brands. So today I want to go over um, how our new showcase pages work on the websites that my marketing company builds called Brew, Ballin Real Estate Websites. Our Brew websites um, here having a fantastic drab, drag and drop editor and are built on uh, my studies and strategies of years and years of generating leads for my real estate business through the internet. And today I want to show you our new showcase pages. We have we have lots that we've uh, released now and we have lots more to come based on my experiences. Now what I do is I um, study the user experience and I study what they do from the time that they uh, do a search on the search engines or click through on a pay-per-click ad or a social link and then what they do once they're on my website. So where do they scroll? Where do they click? Where do they enter? Where do they leave? That type of thing. And over years and years and years of studying, what I have found is, um, and, and some of this even more true on mobile versus desktop or vice versa, but what I have found is the majority of the people that land on one of my websites click right here in this search widget that is by default on the top of every page and they search here, I'm going to show you my little heat map here, on pricing tables or, t or um, uh, tables that offer homes by feature, homes by price, get them somewhere else. What happens is somebody goes to Google and they type something in like um, best neighborhoods in Las Vegas or Las Vegas communities or Green Valley homes for sale with RV parking, things like that, those types of keywords. And when they type in those types of long t long tail keywords in a search engine, they're likely to find my website. Now, when they get to one of these pages, I want to make sure that I give them somewhere to go because if they land here, especially on a page that's so generic like Homes for Sale in Las Vegas, they already have in their head a price range, almost always. Whether or not that means they've been pre-approved for it is another story, but they always kind of know. So giving them somewhere to go right away um, is key. Now looking at this heat map, the brighter the dot, the more clicks there have been on this page, and this one being the primary one. So we have all homes in Las Vegas, homes under 100,000 in Las Vegas, homes under 200,000, and so forth. Well, this goes on and on and on in my studies, that people will click on the widget, they will click on the pricing table and they will click on the table of contents. All of these things being at the top of the page primarily. And scrolling down the page, you they do scroll somewhat, but most people are taking action above the fold or on the top of the page here. So these link boxes or these tables are so, so important as well as the table of contents. They also serve other purposes with the search engines, which I'm not going to get too far into today. But when you're trying to earn a featured rich snippet in the zero position on the search engines at the top, these tables of contents and link boxes can help you get um, additional links in your listings and can help you earn in those rich snippets, um, adding site extensions and things like that to your organic earned in listing. But that's a lot. I know I just said a lot. So um, we'll come back to that on another video. But I want to show you the showcase pages and show you, for those of you that have the Brew website, how to actually use them. Um, we do have a developer tutorial on the way, but for those of you that got your um, your showcase pages rolled out already and you're excited to get started, I wanted to give you something to look at. And for those of you that might be considering a brew website, this will help you see a little bit about how it works. So here is our new showcase page, okay? And what happens with our showcase pages, you can do a lot with them. We've got um, these little sections here are called content blocks. Okay, so this little pricing table here is um, is a dynamically created, automatically created pricing table or link box as we're calling it, based on how you set up your pages. I'm going to show you how we do that in the back end. So what happens is previously on our pages like this, we had to manually go create all those tables, and every time something changed in a page format or adding a new page, we had to go back to the table which was, um, we were using a table press plugin, which is fantastic, but um, there, there, it was, it was uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
it, it, it wasn't exactly perfectly user friendly. Okay, so it took it was a little bit challenging, um, but it was a great tool. And what we have found is a way to make these dynamically created. So however you make your page hierarchy, the tables are automatically formatted. So once you change something in the page hierarchy, these tables change automatically. and You never have to do anything with them again once you build the page. Okay, so this is a huge feature to our showcase pages is having these automatically dynamically created for you. And then we have content blocks. So this grid of homes here is a content block and you can move it around. It's really cool. Then we have lots of other content blocks where you can add schools, you can add your Google Maps, you can add more um, written content, you can add another ta a table of content. So it goes on and on and on. But this is a nice, clean, simple page and I wanted to show you a very simple page so that you could see without being overwhelmed how simple it is to build these pages and then you can get more advanced if you're like me and want to get, dive in further later. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the at the back end of these. Okay, now in the old days, a week ago, in order to build one of those pages, I would go up here to New and I would click Page, and I'm, I'm going to open this in a new tab, and I would just start from here, and I would put my title up here, then I would go in and build my search widget, and I would put it here. And underneath the search widget, I would put some more content. And underneath that content, I would put the schools and everything. And the, the more I would build it, the uglier it would get. It was more efficient. But, you know, just using one big box like that doesn't really keep things clean and aligned well. And so I wanted to give more, uh, have a better way to design a little more clean, plus have the ability to get to have you guys that are, um, just starting out or that are really getting into my, my trainings um, give you an idea of what else you could put on the page to make it richer and to hopefully to have it rank on the search engines better okay and then we would build this table so I would go up here to table and I would insert one of these tables and as you can see here I built 168 tables oh my gosh and that was all manual and so what, what we would do is we'd go ahead and insert that short code and let me hit preview to show you what it would look like with that table. Okay, there's your pricing table. But that was all created manually. And like I said, if you had to make a change, you had to go back into that table and change that manually. And now we're going to be able to do this dynamically. Okay, and now the good news is I've just started really building. So I've got plenty of room here to build to use for examples today. And, and I'm rebuilding my website because I love these showcase pages so much that I'm actually going over now into all my old pages and building a new showcase page and then redirecting the old page to the new page. And eventually we'll get rid of all of those old um, regular pages and only use the showcase pages, okay? So here's what we do now. Instead of just new page, we go new showcase. All right, so let me see where I am. Over here, I have all of my showcase pages. And I'm going to do something today. Let's do, let's do, I've started with, have I started Summerlin? Summerlin, yes, Summerlin under 200, under 300, under 400, under 500. Okay, Summerlin's a good one. All right, so um, the first thing we want to make sure that we do when we're building our showcase pages is we want to build top down, okay? So in my case, I've already built a page for Las Vegas. So you see here, we have Las Vegas. So that is my city. If you are building a count, if you have a, uh, if you're in a location that has a lot of counties, you're going to want to start with um, make sure that you have all of your counties listed out that you serve, okay? And in my case, for example, I serve Clark County as my primary county, so I don't need to have a whole bunch of different counties. Um, my, my team really specializes right there in the Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas area, which is all in Clark County. So if you have a county page and then your city's going to go under that, you'll want to start high up, okay? And so in my case, it's Las Vegas. So in order to build that top level, all I would have had to do is go type in Las Vegas. You know, what? let's just go ahead and do this. And then I, I won't hit publish on this one. I just want you to see how to do, do it in order. 
So this is the high end, okay? Now, over here, we have a category box. This category box is actually controlling that table or that link box. Remember that table I showed you right here, this? We're gonna call this a link box. This is being controlled here. So it's going to say this page belongs in this type of link box. And you're going to see where this comes into play as you move along. So this is going to be an important piece. The good news is if you make a mistake, you can change it. It won't break anything. So don't freak out. There's, there's only one spot in here I'm going to show you where, I, where you, get, you got to get it right. You can't change it later or it's going to mess things up. So this is fine. But Las Vegas is a city. So I want this to show up in my city pages. So when somebody goes in and clicks on homes for sale and they find my page about Nevada, Southern Nevada, it's going to show all the cities I serve, Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas. And so Las Vegas, I want to show up in that city box. I'm going to click city. Now you'll be careful. You can click on more and then you can choose a primary if you want it to show up in other areas, but you really want to think that through if you want it to show up in another area. Okay. Now these are all customizable. Here's, here's the deal. We wanted to keep this simple as possible, yet still have all of the abilities to build and grow with no limits for people like me. Okay. It was really a challenge to say, hey, how do we keep this super simple for the people that are really, are really more on a beginner level, yet how do we still not limit it and make it, make it, you know, where you can really, really, really grow it to its maximum potential and push, push the envelope, which is, which is what I do. And there are some people like me, I wanted to give you that ability. So when you first see this, you're not going to see all of these extra things that I put in here. You've got just a few defaults. Okay. So you've got, you're going to put things in a city page. You're going to put them in a pricing page and you're probably going to put them in a, um, I think you have a neighborhood page by default, default or community. And you may not need any more than that. You may not be one of those people that wants to build more and more and more and more. So just stick with those and that's perfectly fine. Okay. So in this particular case, Las Vegas goes into city. All right. Now showcase attributes. Technically, this is simply your parent page. You know, on, on WordPress, where you have child pages and parent page, this is technically just your parent page, okay? So where does this showcase go? Where's its, where's its, where's its mama? Where's its daddy? Where, where's its parent page, okay? So again, this is Las Vegas. So in my case, it would go under a county or it would just have no parent at all if I haven't built a county page, okay? So in my case, it's just gonna have no parent at all. If you were building um, your city and it goes under a county page because you serve multiple counties, then you would put its parent page as a county page, okay? Um, if you have questions about this as I'm moving along, I'm gonna put this on YouTube as well, but if you have questions, type them in uh, into the um, question box on on YouTube and then I can answer them directly and then it will also help me learn where to provide more training on these things if you get stuck. Um, there's a lot of, of pieces here so I certainly understand that so I want to make sure that you understand um, where they go. Now the title of your page coming back here this could actually be Las Vegas Homes for Sale or Las Vegas Real Estate whatever it is that you've decided to use. Okay I didn't finish that one all the way out. All right, so it's a city page and it's parent page. In my case, there is no parent page. These, this is the highest level. I'm building cities as my highest level. Okay. Now, over here, this is the piece that I want to mention to you. You don't want to change later. Okay. This is actually the URL of the page itself. This is the actual dot com address or, or however you have it set up okay now by by just by default it's going to use your domain name slash and then depending on what you put in your in your um, have chosen here with your parent page is going to determine what else goes in this section because I have chosen Las Vegas to be a parent page there's nothing else that goes in this slug but I do want it to have um, something that tells the web 
this is what the address of this page. So I'm going to put in Las Vegas Homes. Our suggestion is that you don't use more than a few keywords there. Okay. Then I'm going to hit tab. And by default, um, a lot of times when you put in your title and you hit tab, something's going to show up here for you anyway. And if it's fine, um, you're good to go. But we want to make sure that you have the ability to type, to use this slug and um, control it because you don't want your URLs to get too long. Back in the day, we would just create the page and it went under that parent page URL. And if and if, if that parent page was a child of another parent page, then that would go in the URL and they would get incredibly long. And what we have found over the years now is that Google is suggesting shorter URLs, which is another reason why we've gone to the showcase pages is to have more, have a, um, a restructure a little bit of the URL hierarchy so that we are creating um, the, mo the, the, the giving you the most optimal, um, the most opportunity to rank well on the search engines. And with a shorter URL, that's going to help as well. It, it, what we've seen is a shorter URL increases click-through rate. When you have a higher click-through rate on the search engines, you're going to rank better in the search engines. So it all goes together. Okay. So we did our title. We chose what category or link box this should go inside of. And we chose our parent page. In this case, there isn't one. We added our slug, which is going to create the page address, Las Vegas Homes. And by default, the system now said, okay, so in the table or the, the link box, this page should be called Las Vegas Homes. And it creates this based on your slug. And that makes perfect sense because this is a page all about Las Vegas Homes for sale. The location is Las Vegas Homes. So the, it should be called Las Vegas Homes in the link box, okay? Now you have the ability to start building your content, okay? And right here you have content blocks. So when we, we click on content block, you're able to do lots of things. You could add a table of contents right here. Remember I said lots of people click on the table of contents. Let me show you an example of this. Um, let's go back to our website in our heat maps. And I'm gonna click on um, let's look at our horse property page. I have lots of clicks on that one. Okay, let's click on our horse property page. And this is your table of contents. There's a little table of contents here. Now what's really cool about this is in the old days, a week ago, before we had our brew showcase pages, <laughs> it, we had to um, use a plugin. We were using um, Table of Contents Plus. And this table of contents right here would be created out of all of our H2 tags. Well, in the new showcase pages, we now give you the ability to click a button to add the table of contents and to choose which of your H2 headers actually show up in the table of contents if, if you want them to show up there. So it's giving you more control and it's dynamically creating these out of the H2 tags, which I'm going to show you how to do those in a moment super easy. And these table of contents, like I said, what happens is um, on Google, if you go over to Google and you type in, let's just look at pet supplies. I often use this one as an example. Okay. Um, let's type in, hold on that one. Actually, I want to show you a rich snippet. So let's type in, um, let's type in Las Vegas flower shop. I should have pulled up one of these already. Sorry. Let me see if Las Vegas zip codes. Okay, this one will work. All right, so what happens is um, that table of contents oftentimes will give you these little site extensions. And you can see here that my page ranks very high on um, page one. It's number two organically. Um, I float back and forth with my competitor. We're typically, there's a few of us in the top three, actually in the top five. There's about five of us that really kind of rotate pretty good. Um, and uh, we'll alternate depending on the location and ex the exact keyword phrase typed in. But what you can see here is because, let me show you how the, let me show you the table of contents. This is one of my old pages, but same idea. So see here I, in my table of contents, I have a list of all of these zip codes that are in Southwest Las Vegas. Well, what happened is 
because I rank in the top three positions, Google's giving me rewarding that position and it's adding these little site links right here. Okay, so it gives me an opportunity to get more clicks on that page. It, it, it makes them stand out, um, and which is going to increase the click through rate, which gives me more opportunity to rise on those search engines. Okay, so there's lots of reasons we do that. Also, in my experience, this is what users want. They're clicking here. 7% um, of all of the clicks on the page went to this top item, um, almost 7%, just on this one item. And 2.42 on the next one, 2.42 on the, let's add this up. Hold on. Let's just round it up. So 6%, 7%, uh, 8%, 10%, 12%, 13%, 14%. Did I get them all? Nobody's clicking on horseback riding. Well, that's that's very telling. Um, all right. So, oh, and they clicked here too. 19%. So about 20%. About 20% of all the clicks on this page went to this table of contents. So again, this is the reason why we've created these for our showcase pages. So back to the showcase page, the first thing we can do, let's, let's do a really simple one first to say, all I want to do is add an IDX widget. I don't want a table of contents. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything crazy. I just want this um, table of contents. Then what you would do here is you would click Add Content Block, IDX Broker Showcase Widget, and then you go over here and you go to your IDX. We're going to go to Widgets, Create. Type of widget is a showcase. Custom Search, Advanced Search, and I'm going to show all Las Vegas homes. Let's just say all price ranges. Okay, so here's a list of what they look like. And I'm going to put that in that box. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do one that I'm actually going to publish so that we can see the preview. So we did our parent page, Las Vegas. Now in my city, I have lots of neighborhoods that are known by name. Most neighborhoods have this. You'll have zip codes, you'll have areas of town that are known by something. So you have to build your city based on how you guys refer to it, how yours is built. Okay. So mine is pretty simple. In La Las Vegas is its own city, Henderson is its own city, and North Las Vegas is its own city. So uh, in Las Vegas, it has its own zip codes, it has its own school zones, and it has um, areas of town, southwest, northwest, east, so I'll build out those areas. And then it also has communities. Now these communities, in my case, we have these large master plan communities that have thousands and thousands and thousands of people in them. In fact, Summerlin, where I live, um, has 100,000 residents. Now, inside Summerlin, we have neighborhoods, little pockets of neighborhoods, okay? So we have Summerlin, and then in Summerlin, we have neighborhoods. So, so from in my case, I'm going to have several levels of this hierarchy. So you have to build yours out. If you have a direct question on how to build that, feel free to message me or email me, lori at lauriballon.com, and I'll see if I can help you, help answer what how, how, a little bit more about how you might want to build yours out as far as the hierarchy goes, okay? So under Las Vegas Homes for Sale, I'm going to have Homes for Sale by Price. I'm going to have zip codes. I'm going to have school zones. I'm going to have our areas, like I said, northwest, southwest, that type of thing. And I'm going to have communities. And then under my communities, I'm going to have the little neighborhoods, subdivisions, we actually even call them here. Okay? Just to give you a little clarity. So I've already built out over here under parent page, I've already started my Summerlin page. And it's right here. But I've barely gotten started. I've only done pricing. Okay? So let's go ahead and continue on for a minute with the pricing. I need to do Summerlin under 600. So starting this page over, let's go to New Showcase. I'm going to go to Summerlin Homes for Sale under 600,000. Now, sometimes I use 600,000 and sometimes I use 600K in that title. And how I decide that is somewhat based on the length of the title tag. So if, if this is going to be something like... Um, um, Mountain's Edge Homes for Sale under 
600K with three bedrooms. That's going to get really long. So I'll take that 600 and make it 600K instead of 600,000 to save on some of those characters. Okay. So Summerlin Homes for Sale. And if I scroll down here to my Yoast plugin, which um, if you guys have the brew, you should all have a Yoast plugin. Summerlin Homes under 600,000. It adds my little default tag that I've set up here in my Yoast um, settings in the template to add this little tag here. And then every year I just change that year. And so if this is cutting this off, I know that I need to shorten that to 600K. That's one of the, that's one of the, ways I decide how to do that. Okay. So some, but people search by both people search by oh, Summerlin homes between five and six under six, 600 K there. All those searches are coming up on my, um, on my results. However, I will tell you that it doesn't, it's, it, Google knows the diff. Google knows the 600 K means 600,000. Google knows that if somebody's looking for homes between 500, 600,000, that they're looking for homes under 600,000. Google is pretty smart. So you don't have to make it exact anymore like we used to have to in the old days. Okay. So Summerlin homes under 600,000. Now in my case, this is now a price homes for sale by price because I've now created it to be a pricing structure. Okay. So now I'm going to put it under price. I'm going to tab down and I'm going to say the slug on this should be homes. Oh, I didn't choose the parent page yet. Whoops, sorry about that. I would suggest choosing the parent page to do the categories and the parent page. And I'm going to go down and choose my Summerlin page, which is already under communities. So it's already taken care of that when I built that page. Summerlin. Okay. Now see what it just did? See how it added Summerlin neighborhoods to the slug? Okay. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to put, because I chose that I wanted to make sure that this, that it showed up in the, in the neighborhood pages, Las Vegas neighborhood, Summerlin homes under 600 K. Okay. Now watch when I hit tab, the link, it's already titled. So in the link box, which I'm going to show you when we hit publish, how it works, we'll automatically add homes under 600 K. Next, we want to build our content. Okay. So I'm going to add my content and this is a pricing page. So I'm not going to get fancy on the community page. I'm going to put all this information about the community and schools and where is the community and put a Google map. But on my pricing pages, they don't need to be that fancy. We're just going to put an, an IDX block. So I need to go get my Summerlin homes under 600,000. If I've already built the widget, all I have to do is go to my widgets, manage, Summerlin under 600. Okay. I don't have a current one, so I'm going to, I'm going to delete this old one here and we're going to build a new one. So I'm going to go to add a widget, showcase, custom search, advanced search and homes. And I'm going to do five, nine, 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 cause they're under 600,000, right? Five, nine, 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 nine. And I'm going to say only homes that are in Summerlin. And I have a few selections here for Summerlin. Okay. Then down here, I'm going to title this home. Only I see this homes for sale. Uh, let, me, let me do this. Summerlin under 600 K. Now you can choose how to sort it on the pricing tables. I suggest sorting highest to lowest, uh, most expensive to least expensive. I've, Highly recommend a three column widget on the brew websites and I do 15 listings and then have them click for more results. Build the widget, take this code, come back over to my showcase page, click add content block, IDX broker showcase widgets. Whoops. There we go. And I put it in here. Now, if I were going to build a table of contents on this page, which we'll go ahead and do an advanced a video for those that want to build out the more advanced pages. But if I wanted to build this out, I would go ahead and click here and go to um, go ahead and add in a, a, a heading shop all homes for sale under 600 K. And now that will show up in my table of contents. Okay. If I'm building one and you can put something there just in case you might come back and build it, um, build something if you wanted to, but that H2 tag will that whatever you type here will show up on the page. 
So in my case, my pricing tables, I'm leaving that one blank. And then here's where it can get a little bit tricky. You're really done with this page at this point, and you don't have to do anything else. Um, in fact, let me just let's just leave it right here, and then we'll we'll save the other one for the advanced video. Okay, so we've done everything we needed to do. We're going to go ahead and hit publish. Now I'm going to view it. And there it is. See how your pricing table was automatic and you did not have to build this? And it, it did this automatically because Summerlin was the parent page. And each of these pricing tables was built as a child page under Summerlin. When you clicked that little box to make it a price, and then underneath the showcase attributes, you click the parent page to be Summerlin. This table is automatically created. Now, if I go back to Summerlin, Summerlin has a parent page. Okay, Summerlin is right here in these um, communities. And so by default, it also shows up in the community box. This was dynamically created. I didn't have to do any of this. And then all of my Las Vegas neighborhoods are under the parent page Las Vegas. So it shows automatically in the Las Vegas Neighborhoods page. And then, of course, it goes back to Las Vegas as the main page, and everything they want to see is about Las Vegas. And so that's how these tables work their way up. And the, and the coolest thing about this is it's the best user experience you can imagine. It gives the user everything that they need if they want to go back and look at a higher, a higher category or they want to go lower and drill down. So if they want to drill down in a mountain's edge now, they know they want to live in mountain's edge, but they want to look at all the different price ranges or homes by bedroom or homes with a pool. I can build all those out now and each one of those will have pricing tables, okay? So it's as, it's as simple or as big as you want to build it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this neighborhood, I'm going to end this neighborhood. I'm going to end this video here and then I'm going to make an advanced video to show you how to take your showcase pages farther if you want to get fancier and add more content maybe with those, those um, parent pages or maybe with the drilling down into specific little neighborhoods you'll be able to drill down. So this that's this one just to get you started.